how to win your VA unemployability claim. That's right, folks. We're talking about TDIU claims, total disability based on individual unemployability. Do you have the evidence you need in order to win your unemployability claim? So to show that you are entitled to VA unemployability, you, mu you have to prove that your VA service-connected disabilities keep you from working. You also must have a combined rating of 70% with at least one of those ratings being at 40% or a single rating at 60%. The uh, qualifiers here are something I don't want you to get too hung up on, um, but basically there's scheduler TDIU and extra scheduler TDIU. We're not really talking about the differences between the two of those today. We're talking about, do you have enough evidence to win your claim? So you're going to fill out um, VA's unemployability form, 218940. And if you do not a, uh, fill that out, the uh, VA will not approve your claim at all. You need to get together medical evidence showing the severity of your service-connected disability, right? This is an unemployability claim and you need medical evidence to prove this. If you were working, um, get statements from your former employers. If you can't get them, don't worry about it. The VA is going to make a few attempts to try to get them for you. Um, but if you can't get it and you were fired or something like that, it's not the end of the world. If you have uh, friends and family, um, I would have them here under number four. Um, write a buddy letter write a lay statement. This will help support your claim. Once you have all your evidence, uh, you want to take it to your doctor. If he believes that you cannot work due to your service-connected disability, then he needs to write that in a short statement. In the statement, he must identify the evidence he reviewed, state that it is least as likely as not that you cannot work due to your service-connected disabilities, and then why you cannot work. The doctor must connect the evidence to you're not being able to work. This is important. So here's an example. Um, you're having severe heart. You have a severe heart disease. A good opinion would be something like, I reviewed Mr. Combat Craig's medical records, employer statements, family statements, and I believe that it is least as likely as not that his heart keeps him from working because his ejection fraction is so low that he cannot get the blood flow he needs which in turn zaps away all of his energy. He would not be able to make it through a full workday. One other thing that I would add here is I would uh, get a vocational expert involved as well. A vocational expert is able to take off where the doctor left off and opine on why you cannot work. And a vocational expert can go into labor codes, uh, what is a reasonable thing for people to do that have to go to a job, you know, get up. If you, if you have heart problems and you can't breathe, you can't even get out of bed, much less get dressed, take a shower, eat breakfast, commute to work, and then sit behind your desk or whatever job you used to have uh, for eight hours. So uh, medical evidence, you need to have a doctor weigh in. Don't leave out the buddy letters. Um, they are going to try to contact your former employer. If you can get them to help you out, great. If not, the VA will make an attempt could hang things up for 30 days or something like that. It's not the end of the world. Um, if you're like me and you got fired from every single job, um, your employer is probably not going to be very cooperative. That's fine. And then finish it off with a vocational expert.